Well, what's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be going through a rather niche topic, but it was requested, so here you go. In this video, I'll be showing you how to activate thousands of free to play games on Steam on your Steam account, and there is actually a method and a reason for doing this. This includes, or possibly not includes, depending on what you choose, game demos but it'll mostly focus on free games. The reason that most people do this is that certain games go free, and if you manage to grab them within a certain time window, you get to keep them forever. While there isn't something that looks out and automatically does that for you when the price changes, as far as I understand, there is, however, a tool provided by the largest Steam database, SteamDB, that lets you activate tons and tons of free-to-play games on Steam. A lot of these in the future will also get removed from Steam, etc., but they'll remain in your library, which is possibly bragging rights or something like that. Before we get into this, I do have to warn you that if you do activate thousands of free-to-play games, well, to nobody's surprise, your Steam library list will be populated with thousands of games. If you find yourself scrolling through the list instead of searching for something, you may find that thousands of games you're never going to touch can be rather annoying. So only use this if you're sure you want to use it, but of course if you do add thousands of games, there is a way for removing keys manually and of course automatically, which I'll have linked in the description down below. Anyways, on with the video. This is using a third party tool, but it's probably one of the most trusted third party tools for Steam, take from that what you will. SteamDB.info all you need to do is make sure that you can visit this website and you have the SteamDB extension installed. It's available for Chrome, Firefox, etc. Or maybe just Chrome. Anyways, you'll find links down below. When you've installed the browser extension, you'll need to sign into the Steam store in your browser. This is the normal steampowered.com slash login page. Simply fill in your login details here and make sure remember this computer is ticked. After signing in, hey, it's the Steam Summer Sale, head back to steamdb.info. Then from here, Simply add a slash free packages, one word, to the end of the URL, or click it in the description down below. This is the page here that contains pretty much all of the free games on Steam. And of course, you can give this a simple scroll to see what's offered. When you run the tool, it should run from the top all the way down to the bottom. Though, do keep in mind, this list is absolutely massive. Using some nerdy tech skills, you can see there are 17,362 games on the list right now. However, there are some filters at the very top. First of all, some packages won't be available in your country and should be automatically filtered out, but you can click the button here to show them in the list as well. Then you can also hide demos by clicking this text here. And if you want to only view content for owned games, you can click here. I'd recommend doing this last one first, as essentially it shows you free DLC and things like that that you can claim and activate on your account, which you may not even know about. Simply clicking this link here, you'll see activating packages, and assuming you have the browser extension installed and you signed into it properly, you'll see a bunch of responses here. Simply refreshing the page when it's done and showing only these, you can see I've activated quite a few free packages. These ones just aren't activating for some reason. EA Play trial key, whatever. Anyways, it's basically worked. We've activated some DLC on my account for free. It's free DLC and I wouldn't have found it without the use of this tool. Of course, you could have gone through the Steam Store page, etc., but it's a nice place to find it. Then, of course, you can click to Hide Demos and Legacy Media, which I would recommend, and that takes this list down from 17,200-ish all the way down to 8,300. Still an incredibly massive amount, and your Steam isn't going to be too happy, especially on low-end systems, when you end up scrolling through and searching through this many games on your account. But I do know of people who have literally run this habitually, daily, year on year, and simply filled up their Steam accounts. As for how long this will take, well, essentially, you can activate 50 free packages an hour on Steam. How long will this take? Well, looking at this shorter list of 8,394 divided by 50 per hour, that's 167 hours. That's almost a full week of non-stop activating keys. Simply just click the button and leave your PC on. 6.995 days. If you, of course, choose to show everything, that'll include 17,000 odd games, which is a full two weeks of idling your PC, simply activating keys 50 every hour. And of course, free games will not give you plus one to your game count. If that's what you're trying to do, Keep that in mind, this won't do anything positive for you in that regard. On top of this, free games don't have card drops and things like that, 
unless you usually spend money in in-game item stores, etc. Oftentimes they'll give you card drops, such as Dota 2, CSGO, whenever you spend money in the in-game store. So overall, this doesn't do a huge lot of positive for your account, but if you're someone who's crazy enough to try it, well, hey, here's the tool. It's public, it's free, it's been used by thousands of people on one of the most trusted third-party Steam platforms. Anyways, that's really about it for this relatively quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!